so the camera deformer basically draws a plane of point that helps you deform any object from the camera view so i'll go ahead and create a sphere so i'll create a sphere and i'll go into my deformers and i'll choose camera make it a child of the sphere and you can when you come to its attribute you see we have camera strength um, grid so as it stands now this is the grid that we have which is 32 by 32 if i should increase it it see gives it or we can actually reduce it as well how however we want it now i can actually come to a point and i can select either of this point and you can see straight away start deforming our object so basically that's what it does now we've not specified any camera so it's using cinema for this default camera view to work so we can actually go in and create our camera and select um, the camera deformer and make it a child of the um uh, and place it in the camera um, space that we have in the attribute manager and now if you look at, through this camera everything that we do is now from this camera view so now we can go in and continue what you're doing now start manipulating things you know, and everything we see the way we see it from the camera view sometimes when you 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 get out of the camera view it might not be like how you want you you thought like you've actually deformed your object so now i get out of the camera view and data you can see i mean this is what we have you no know, you can actually come in here and increase the grid to a bit more i mean in this case it will be quite uh, hectic to uh, to move it with the normal move tool and everything so i can actually come in to mesh and choose go to move and use the brush and now you can actually fully or somebody move points so that one i don't necessarily even have to select um the point mode i'll leave it in the object mode make sure the camera is selected and now you can actually use it to manipulate it simple as that so you can actually create some weird or anything you want with it and what i can do is actually i'll create a null object and now get the camera out of the sphere and make the two the sphere and the camera a child of the null object meaning they are now siblings so now i can actually come here and take the sphere and move it separately i move the sphere se separately you can see what happens move the sphere se so when it goes back because at that point nothing is happening there it goes back to its normal shape and when it gets here it begins to move and smear and things to form this shape so you can actually play around to create a lot of interesting things with the camera deformer